Ramadan Karim, Ramadan is here and I'm sure like me, you are looking for ways to make sure that this Ramadan is the Ramadan you will change for the best. So in this video, I'm going to share with you how to start your Ramadan right and have a healthy, successful and empowering healthy Ramadan. I will do this by sharing with you a five step process, easy and straightforward. Let's dive in. Step one, set your intentions right. Now, ask yourself, who do I want to be at the end of this Ramadan? How do I want to be transformed at the end of this holy month? And also, how do I want to show up every single day during this holy month? Write down the answer somewhere that you can see and read it as many times as possible, especially when that hunger um, kicks in and you get tired or you're having a headache, this is a great way to remind yourself why you doing this. Step two, set goals or objectives. Now, to help you use the SMART goals framework. SMART stand for specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and timely. And I'm just going to give you an example. For example, one of my biggest goals this month is to learn by heart and understand Surat Al-Kahf. And Surat Al-Kahf is 110 ayah. So it's very, you know, specific, it's measurable, it's attainable, inshallah. It's realistic because, you know, this is my main big goal and also it is timely. So I'm leaving the whole month for Ramadan to do this goal. Step three, set a plan. Now, I love this quote, hope is not a strategy. And for me, for the past 15 years, Hope was a strategy for Ramadan, but you know, everything changed two years ago when I decided to get back to, you know, learning my faith, my religion and getting deeper into my faith. And through my coach training and education, I came across productivity tips, you know, and uh, processes that, you know, I just took out of these training and I was like, I'm going to implement that for Ramadan. And every single year since then, it got better and better. So set a plan. Okay. Break down your goals and objectives into weekly and daily uh, feasible actions. For example, let's go back to my example of uh, Surat Al-Kahf. And what I did is that I divided 110 by four, four weeks. I got a number and I divided it by seven. So it gave me a rough number of how many ayah should I learn and understand every day to make sure that I succeed at the end of the month. Hey, so far we've covered three steps out of this five-step process. So if you are getting uh, some value out of this video, uh, please can you light up the like button and also in the comment, let me know what are your objectives or goals to have a healthy and empowering holy month. Now let's get back to the process. Step four. Now I feel like this is going to be a game changer get an accountability partner. It is so crucial. Now, um, some days your motivation will be a nine out of 10 to, you know, want to succeed your goal or your objective. And some days it's going to be a two out of 10. So during these days, it's important to have someone else, a partner that will be an accountability voice for you to help you during these low motivation day. And you can exchange, you know, like your experience. And this year actually is the first year that I started this and I'm going to tell you how it is but I know through my coaching experience it is so crucial to have accountability for success. Step five finally we are having the last step in the process and it is do not judge yourself because I want us to pause here and remember why you're doing this. You're doing this for you and nobody else. So it is crucial to really build this internal environment that is positive, kind, and loving because you want to become better. You want to become your best self. So you have to be positive during the process. And yes, you may not be successful, but you will see progress. You will be changed anyway. You will be better than day one and you know what Ramadan is the perfect month 
for growth and to do this for you. Hey, and here's a tip for you to increase your chances for success. Start a Ramadan journal. This is so uh, important and like so game changing because when you write down every day, you know, when you capture your feeling, your, um, your thoughts, and of course, with no judging, your progress, your success, your failure, well, you will be astonished when you get back to it, you know, at the end of Ramadan and you read the first days, you will see the progress. It's going to be on paper. And it's also a way to be a reminder of why you do this. So keep a Ramadan journal. Here we are it was a five step process to start ramadan right so you have all the five steps and thank you for watching if you have any specific topic that you want me to discuss in the modern muslim woman series please let me know and if you're new here please click that subscribe button and i will see you on the next video bye